Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Sheets to keep track of your to-do list items or weekly habits or goals that you want to accomplish. So you should see this screen on your advisory lesson. Basically, this takes you to a forced copy of a tracking sheet that has already been made for you. So you will want to select make a copy. So you now have your own version in your Google Drive. So if you're looking at this and you're like, there's a lot going on right here. Just know that some of these things are set up for you to do some calculations, to help you monitor your progress and automatically turn things green or yellow, depending on whether you meet your goal for that week or for that class, whatever you would like to organize this as is totally up to you. So a lot of this is programmed for you. Don't feel like you have to go through and be typing in a bunch of equations. You can certainly do that if you would like, but really what I want you to do is kind of get an idea on this tab of what these look like, but really the setup tab is where you're going to be doing all of your typing. You won't be doing a whole lot of typing on this example tab right here. So the way that this is set up is that it's going to import whatever information that you fill in over here. So if I'm on my setup tab, it walks you through exactly what you need to do. Basically, all you have to do right here is decide what your goals are or what your tasks are that you need to complete that week. So I have some examples written out right here. Um, but let's say that I want to change a couple of these to make them a little bit more school focused. So finish my science labs. Let's say that I have a lab every Wednesday in my science class, but I want to make sure that it's done um, on Thursday, a day before it's due. All right. And another one can be uh, maybe I can set a goal here to update my Google Calendar daily. All right, so I have some other ones entered here. You don't have to have this many of them if you don't want to. If you're like, some of these aren't necessarily super relevant for me right now, you can delete some of these if you would like. Type them there, delete them. Um, you can have up to th number 13 cell here for your goals, but if you have fewer than that, that's perfectly fine. So over here, it's just showing you what emojis are going to pop up if you reach these habits or these tasks or goals that you set up for the week. So once I have this all typed here, then I'm going to go back to my weekly example and there's some magic that is going to happen. So if you notice right here, I had all of these filled out to about cell 16 before with my goals. Now it's a much shorter list because I deleted some of them here. So the way this is set up is my tab here with weekly example is going to basically sync up with anything that I've typed here on this setup page. So this is the only page where I need to be typing my goals. If I type right here, it's just gonna mess up this equation I have. So it just saves you some typing time basically um, along the way. So once I have this set up, it's all good to go. And then the next place that you might want to configure is, you know, it's the start of the week. I haven't met any of these goals yet. So what I need to do is go through and just uncheck some of these boxes in this example. And what I'm going to do is also decide what's my goal here for the week. So let's say I need to make sure I write my assignments in my planner at least three times this week. So that's already set up there. And um, let's say that I'd set a goal to bring my planner home each night. That's probably best if I set that at a five. So, you know, every day of the week, I need to be doing that. Uh, maybe I need to make sure I practice songs for band class at least three times a week, finish my labs. Um, you know, I only need to do that one time this week. Uh, update my Google Calendar daily, so that's five. Practice my Spanish vocabulary, let's do three. Check my school email, um, let's say that's five. And um, let's also say check my grades in Power School, we'll set that as at least two, okay? And then these other ones here, because we deleted some of those goals, that's why it's showing some errors there, but that's perfectly fine, okay? So basically we've decided, all right, this is the number of times that I want to make sure that I reach these goals. So as you go through the week, you'll just cross off some of these items. So let's say that, you know, I did this on Monday, I did it on Tuesday, but then I forgot the rest of the week. So what this column does right here is it automatically looks and says, oh, well, you didn't meet that goal of three. You only did it twice. So we didn't make progress on that goal quite yet. So that tells me that the next week I can write this goal in here again and just keep growing and continuing on that. Um, let's say that I... Did remember to bring home my planner each night, you know, even if I didn't remember to write assignments in it each time, then yay, I reached that goal. So this just helps you keep track of things that you need to do and monitor your progress. If you find out that this little percentage over here isn't super helpful for you, you can always delete that column. 
Uh, but this is just a way for you to keep track of things that you know you want to improve on or some of the assignments and things you need to get done during the week. So that is how you can use Google Sheets for this. It's all set up for you. So all you have to do is just plug in your goals and your tasks here and then keep track of them with the little check boxes over here. So hopefully this is a helpful resource to you this school year.